This is a review of the uh, John Deere S170. Uh, it's brand new, just got dropped off uh, from Lowe's delivery. Uh, let's see, uh, we decided to go with this model and um, cut about an acre and a half. That's what we have cleared on a five acre lot. Uh, this model's got a couple extra features than the models below it. And uh, it's about a $300 difference between this model and the one that they sell below it at Lowe's, the S140. There are no YouTube reviews of this one, so I'm gonna give a quick overview and it's uh, first YouTube review to help out other people. So this is how it looks. It's got a 48 inch deck. Um, looks pretty clean going around it. It's got these bigger 22 uh, inch tires on the back. And uh, the front tires are 16. Uh, inches by 6.5 um, comes from Lowe's but it kind of sent it kind of dirty I wiped it down a little bit but uh, apparently wherever they got it from it was sitting outside so make sure before you take delivery that you just inspect it and have them clean it if you need to uh, let's see it's got a 24 horsepower uh, Briggs and Stratton engine on this one a quick oil change 30 second oil change but the oil change has uh, negative reviews um, this is a little brochure that sits up here, talks about it. Part of the 100 series, change of oil in 30 seconds, twist, lock, and done. Again, that's got negative reviews across the board. Um, just because it only changes a quart of oil, or sorry, half a quart of oil um, out of the 2.5 quart system. So it leaves dirty oil in there and people don't like that. All right, so uh, it says get to know the app side by side. Um, Adjustable lumbar seat. It's got an easy to read fuel gauge, a front bumper, heavy duty transmission, extended life series engine, V twin, more power, 30 second oil change, best in class ergonomics, bumper to bumper warranty. I think that's for two years. Uh, adjustable lumbar seat, bumper fender flares, premium steering wheel, larger tires and wheels, wheels and tires, cruise control. Uh, again, the 24 horsepower engine, the 48 inch more deck, and the heavy duty hydrostatic upgrade transmission here goes a picture of the uh, video of the fuel gauge uh, we'll go ahead and try to start it up for the first time A little difficulty starting for the first time. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Change the choke. So we had a little bit of trouble starting there, but uh, let's go ahead and kick it up to full choke. It's just because it's new and it needed all the fuel lines to uh, fuel to get into the fuel lines. Pushing the clutch on the left side. Push. 